Hey Descendants, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to give you a few tips and tricks on how you can actually progress a little bit faster to hard mode if you're very fresh, starting out with the first Descendant. Here I'm going to give you how you can increase your survivability and your DPS. If you're struggling with those two things, stay to the end of the video because I will try to be as short as possible and not waste your time over here. Let's get straight to it. All right, so let's say you're just starting out, you got bunny or you're using one of your first descendants that you picked up in the beginning. Doesn't really matter because this applies to all of the descendants. And over here, I will just give you a very quick overview of how the survivability works in the game and what are the stats that you should be looking for. So over here on the right side, you will see um, the stats of your descendants. This is level 40 descendant. Probably you will have a little bit lower stats. That's fine. It's about the principles. Prioritize max HP. Then you prioritize defense and you prioritize max shield last. The way you actually get your stats is you get them from using different components. Now mine are level 100, mine are from boss fights, which also have some set effects. Yours won't have the set effects, but, but the principle is the same thing. You want to have everywhere as much as possible max HP and defense. Forget about max shield max hp and defense and now i'll show you how and how big of a difference it makes to have those double rolls if you get like a component that has a main stat as a max hp which is 484 on this component and a second roll another max hp and it is yellow that's a perfect god roll keep it and this will help you a lot in the beginning let me also just give you another example what what you might keep but eventually you, you would like to replace Something like a main stat defense and a secondary stat would be HP. This is still fine as well, but try to get HP first, right? If you get this vice versa, if you get max HP first and secondary stat uh, defense would be probably better, uh, but just try to get HP first. Now you will get 100 components the moment you go to hard mode and you clear out the story. So the idea of this video is how can we get there as soon as possible? Now, I really recommend Bunny because Bunny is actually a descendant that is, you know, given out to you for free. And by, by chance, she, she also ends up to be one of the best late game descendants also for grinding mobs and materials and stuff like that. But in this video, I'm going to go through, you know, how can I boost my survivability? This will apply the exact same way if you're going to be doing this for Ajax, for Lepic, or for Viesa. Doesn't matter which descendant you have. We're talking about principles over here. So if we go back and we notice over here, I have 3,782 HP on my descendant. If I go over here, now I will show you one mod that you get actually very easy and very early in the game. This is called increased HP. Now you will get that. Um, obviously, you know, on a lower level like this, but, you know, I just want to show you a little bit of an upgraded mod, what a big difference it makes. Remember 3k HP? I saved this right now, 9.6k HP. Just one mod, right? So this is one of the ones that I recommend early in the game. Uh, the other mod that you need for survivability and you, it's super easy to obtain and you will get it very early on is increased defense. Those two mods will increase your survivability by a ton. Just make sure you upgrade them step by step. Don't spend overspend all your resources at once. If you get to a point in the game that you're struggling with survivability and you're dying too much, go back to town, upgrade those mods. They will stay upgraded forever and you can use them on other descendants in the future and stuff like that. There are obviously better mods like, uh, you know, purple mods and, and yellow mods and stuff like this. Uh, later on in the game, you might get something like HP amplification, which will give you even more HP. Um, but this is not the point over here. We are beginners. This is what you want to look for. Now, let me give you another tip for damage increase. Now, if you want to get a little bit of damage when you're you know, using Bunny, for example, as a descendant, you can use something like Technician. Technician is a blue mod, which you get early in the game, skill power modifier. It also turns out to be an M letter. So over here, it will also cost us less capacity. And over here, we also have a X um, polarity over here on this. So uh, a good mention over here, if we're talking about Bunny, for example, would be Electric Specialist, which is this one over here. This will give us skill, electric skill power and Bunny does uh, electric skill power. So this is a perfect boost for her. And now we also have five capacity left. I would throw in probably some nimble fingers over here, um, a general one, and that's about it. 
So this would be a build that I would go for very early in the game just to have a little bit survivability and damage. And obviously over now, once you get to hard mode, this will look completely different early on in the game, but a fully built might look something like this, right? So the point is you want survivability early on in the game. The one tip that I can give you about weapons, you will upgrade mods that you will just carry over from one weapon to another weapon. However, keep in mind that the mods over here um, are based on the weapon type. I highly recommend you start only with general rounds weapons in the beginning. This will give you the most, um, you know, biggest impact. And you this way you only have to upgrade one type of mods, uh, which you will carry over in the late game as well. So one of the mods that I really recommend in the beginning and the first mod that you should focus on upgrading is rifling reinforcement. This is going to increase your overall, you know, DPS on the weapon itself, the base stats. And obviously you don't want to keep it, you know, a low level, try to upgrade this. If you can the uh, middle level, something like this. And if you can afford, obviously go for max. This is gonna give you the best, best, um, you know, results. A very, very common and popular mod is action reaction, but I highly doubt you will get this mod early on in the game. So if you don't get this one, don't worry about it. Let's say you don't have this one. What is the other two mods that will actually give you a little bit of a, you know, let's say um, DPS boost that could be better insight. Better insight is a firearm critical hit rate mod. This will give you more critical hit rates. Then you might have firearm critical hit damage, better concentration. This is a very good mod as well. And another very honor honorable mention. Okay, let's say I don't have enough capacity over here. Uh, let me remove this but fire rate is also very good this makes shoot, you shoot your weapon so much more faster right as you can see capacity is an issue uh, if you don't upgrade weapons and stuff like that and i don't recommend you touch any weapons other than just throwing a couple mods in that early on in the game just take your upgrades one time one at a time and you know those mods you carry over from one weapon to another let's say you're about level 50 you just enter the next zone which is level 60 you will get level 60 weapons over there. You got a general round weapon. You pick it up. You unequip the mods from this one. Throw it into the new one. And you're good to go. The main idea in the beginning of the game is for you to get as quick as possible to hard mode. And hard mode is where the fun starts. Where the real gearing up happens. Where the real grinding happens and stuff like this. In hard mode you will get level 100 items. Level 100 reactors and components. So this is really really important. Those few tips that I just gave you will make your game a little bit easier. Um, and I hope they help you out to clear out your content so much more faster. And one other tip that I can give you, you can always join our Discord and help and ask for help if you need a quick help with clearing one of the normal bosses. I'm sure that there's plenty of people that will just jump for a couple seconds, kill the boss for you, and you don't struggle with this. You can always also visit my stream on Twitch and just ask for help. There's always going to be someone that can help you if it's not me, but I'm always open for help. So I hope this video was useful. Good luck with your grind. If you have any questions, post them down in the comments below or join our Discord or I'll see you in my Twitch chat. Take care.